Um, the reality is that word of mouth is moving online. You'll have a lot of lawyers who say, you know, I come from a, a time when the internet was not central to my practice, and I principally bring in my clients from other happy clients. And I, that makes total sense, and that will always be a primary referral source for uh, lawyers. But what we're seeing very quickly is that consumers are moving online either to uh, uh, have that word of mouth from someone they know or don't know in a site like Avo, or they're taking the word of mouth that they have and they're doing the equivalent of a background check to understand if what they heard through the word of mouth lines up with what is in public records and what others have said, or even what other lawyers have said in the community. So online reputation is something that is becoming a, a top of legal mind subject. We're just seeing in all sorts of conferences, we saw this at the ABA come up a number of times where should you protect or how should you protect your online reputation? And I think for any lawyer who says the internet is not important to me, I think they're making a mistake because give it 10 years and just about all searches for professionals, especially licensed professionals, are going to be done primarily through the internet and through other sites, legally oriented sites like Avo, that focus on the lawyers and the lawyer's background. So one of the questions that you need to ask yourself or that any professional needs to ask themselves is, is this site important to me? Is the Google search results to me uh, important to me? Is the AVO rating important to me? And if the answer is yes, then you should be proactive in controlling that profile in that web presence. If it is important, isn't important to you and you don't think that it affects your, uh, your practice in any way, then I wouldn't worry about it. But still, some element, some part of the web is important to you, and yes, you should be proactive.